This week on Canada in the Rough, Paul Beasley is on a Newfoundland adventure with Arlock Outfitters. He'll be joined by Jeremy Eldridge of Hoyt Archery, and they're both in for some heart-pumping bear and moose encounters. This week on Canada in the Rough. Well, it's change day here at Arlock Outfitters. Always an exciting time of the week as you get all the, old, the hunters from last week are coming out, sharing all their stories and all their success, and we're all excited to get in there. Yeah. Jeremy's just on this chopper flight. He's gonna be uh, getting flown in first, and I'll be joining him. Let's get hunting. This week, Paul and Jeremy will be staying at Arlock Outfitters Trophy Lake Camp. The camp is fully equipped with everything you need to make your stay enjoyable. This camp is only one of six fly-in hunting and fishing camps. Every hunt is tailored around each hunter's needs, and Arlock takes great pride in taking care of their clients while providing a first-class hunt. On top of the great accommodations, the terrain is simply breathtaking, as their hunting area is situated on the edge of Gross Morn National Park. After everyone arrived at camp and got unpacked, they sat down to a fantastic home-cooked meal and then shot their bows to make sure everything was working properly ahead of their hunt tomorrow. How do you adjust for 50 mile per hour winds and wind drift? I don't know, with the bow, you just make it under 20. <laughs> At least we'll be able to stalk in close. Yeah. All right, yeah. well, good luck, guys. Okay. Mark looks like he's ready. I'm ready to roll. All right, awesome. get one. See one up on the ridge. Oh yeah, yeah, just coming out. He's coming. He's heard that call, yeah. even this hard, heavy wind. You know what? He's gonna work down windows though. We're gonna have to get down to the stand, eh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab my bow and get down out here. Oh yeah, he's coming. He's gonna work around us, they'll try to wind us. We're gonna have to move here. Oh, yeah, he's coming fast, let's go. There he is, right there, right there, right there. 
Yeah. Yeah. You got our wind. You got our wind. Well, that was exciting. Got the heart beating a little bit. He really wasn't that big of a bull. Probably seven or eight points, Newfoundland style. So I really wasn't that worried about him, but I wanted to try to see if we could get in on him. Trouble is we've got, you know, the calls and the guys are all up there. And you know, he got their scent string. He didn't get ours, but he got theirs. Well, that was definitely fun. Well, I think we'll look for a bigger one. It's still early in the week. We'll get up and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't find a bigger one. Try again. As Paul continued his search for a Newfoundland bull, several kilometers away, Jeremy Eldridge and guide Mark Keynes were having an eventful morning. After a little calling, they spotted a big bull in the distance, but he was unfortunately being dragged away in the wrong direction by a cow. Right after the moose disappeared, a nice black bear was spotted on a far ridge, and without hesitation, they decided to put a stock on the brewer. As Paul and Guide Austin continued their hunt, they spotted a young bull running into the coal from over a kilometer away. A great example of how strong a moose's sense of hearing really is. Oh, there he is. Right straight down here. He's just staring up here. Good, he's working to the right. That makes the wind less his favor. Nice. No, he's not looking too eager. Oh no. Try to give him a call. Unfortunately, the bull seemed to sense something wasn't quite right and disappeared into the thick timber. Paul and Austin stuck it out, and near the end of the night, another bull came running to the coal from over one and a half kilometers away. But when the bull reached the tree line, he hung up. Every day, Paul was seeing multiple moose and even some bears. They attempted a stalk on one big boar, gorging himself on blueberries. But after making the long hike, they couldn't relocate the bear. As for Jeremy, he too was seeing multiple moose every day with his guide, Mark. At one point, they heard a cow ball and stalked in closer to discover not only the cow, but also a bull with her. They attempted to call the bull in, but the bull didn't want to leave his cow. They tried moving in closer, hoping to get into bow range, but after dipping down into a low spot and coming back up, they spotted the bull making his retreat. 
Tasty East Coast meals back in camp kept everyone well fed. And with so much exciting moose and bear encounters each day, everyone was eager to head out hunting. On the evening of day three, Jeremy and Mark spotted a big bull with some cows many kilometers away. Though they didn't have enough time to go after him that evening, the next day they headed back up to the same lookout tower and luckily spotted the bull again, chasing a younger bull off. After dropping some layers, the stock was on. I saw him go down. I saw him stumbling off that ledge right there, dude. He should be, he should be right there, dude. Nice bullet. He should be right there. Where'd my bullet go? I want to keep my bullet. Oh, there it is. He should be going to tax school. He should be right here. Oh, dude, there he is, man. He's right there. Oh, my oh. goodness, dude. Look at him. Oh, dude, that's a bull. Holy smokes. That's a dandy bull. Look at that bull. Hey, <laughs> let it go, buddy. Let it go. Holy smokes, man. Oh, my, what a bull. Why? I'll tell you that. I mean, that's <laughs> that's why you come to Newfoundland right yeah. there, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, well, yeah, congratulations again, you, my man. man. Thank you. That, that's more bull than I dreamed of, man. Oh. He's just got a cool rack. Boy, look at that, yeah. man. It's so, so cool. Yeah. I mean, I've shot a lot of elk, but this body <laughs> on this thing, oh, my gosh. He's a big bull, boy. Holy big smokes, bull. dude. I was hoping to shoot him with the bow, but from where he was coming, and we knew he was yeah. he was coming well, straight in. You wouldn't have been able to shoot that no. if you had had the bow in your hand. Straight in, I mean, and, and the wind was not cooperating, so I just made the decision to grab the gun. It's a second to last day, and this is a dandy ball, uh, so. Oh, definitely, dude. definitely. Now it's time for the work. Yep, let's get this thing taken care of. Yeah, yep. the fun is starting now. <laughs> Austin, there's moose coming across that far bog. Right straight out across that big bog there. Oh yeah. Look like a cow to you? Yeah, it looks like a cow. Oh, there's another moose coming through. It's a bull, it's a big bull. Yeah, big bull. Oh, but he's got, look at look up behind him to the right. He's got cows. I can see a tree. Yeah, this, uh, shoot, eh? They're probably gonna go right up into that heavy timber right there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You'll chase the cows. I think the only option is gonna be to go after them, though. That's about our only option, I think. With yeah. those cows, I mean, he's not gonna come to any calls, so I think we gotta get in close, then try to just bring them out of that timber. We'll have to try to go, we'll have to try to work over. We can't go this way. No. Nope. We're gonna have to work around and try to get down the gully and... Get the wind in our favor? Yeah. I think that's the plan. Short ball, and we 
luck and this little bull's pushing her. But we gotta try to see if we can figure out where that big bull is. So they should be right in here where we saw that little bull and cow. I'm thinking the rest of them are gonna be up in that timber. But, oh, there's a cow coming down actually. Oh, we're right in them. He's gotta be here still. I'm gonna see if I can fire him up. He's down, he's down. Oh yes, yes bye. Yes. Congratulations Thank you, thank you so much. That was just an exciting hunt. Thank you for coming all the way down here that's, with me. I don't know, that's, that's my job. But I was frightened when we got down there that they might be gone up and bed down somewhere yeah. and we have to wait there all yeah. day for them. Yeah. Wait a half hour, hour. That's not so bad. Nine till it's off. It took us longer to walk down it here than it did to. Uh, but oh. now, don't forget, when we wax back up, we're gonna be happy. <laughs> yes, sir. We didn't know what was going to happen. It'll be, down, it'll be easier to climb those. We're gonna be happy going back. Oh my gosh, I can see his palm right there. Christmas Let's, happened early. It sure did. Let's grab our packs and go have a look at them. Oh, Austin. Oh, Austin. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Look at this, buddy. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my man. What an exciting hunt. What a beautiful, beautiful moose. Look at how me hold this thing up. Get this oh, head turned around here. Man. Oh. Well, he's not, he's not so wide as I thought he was. I didn't think he was that wide. Well, he's, he was wider but that. those paddles. Oh, man. Look at those. Man, oh, man. Well, I know in Newfoundland, you guys always count points. So come around here with me. We and let's count these points up. We do indeed, sir. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Does this one count? Yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19 points, my friend. 19 beautiful. points. What an animal. Absolutely beautiful. Austin, I can't, I can't thank you enough. You've worked hard oh, for yeah. us. You've put on the miles. You came down all the way into the bottom of this valley to shoot this bull. It has been an amazing week. That's my job, and every guy in Newfoundland did the same thing for you. Well, you guys do a fantastic job. I, I love coming here, not only because the moose hunting's exceptional, but because the people are exceptional as well. We and, appreciate uh, it. You guys have been great. All of the people here at Arlick have been fantastic. You know, folks, if you ever have a chance to come to Newfoundland and to do one of these incredible moose hunts, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Cannon the Rough. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada. Be proud of your hunting heritage. Oh, awesome, my friend. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.